We have our primitive set up in our eyebrow ring. Next thing we want to do is hide some of this geometry on the outer torus to reveal the inner torus and that's the part that's going to go through the skin of the eyebrow. So how we do that, let's select our outer torus and in our tool settings we're going to come down to geometry editor. And in the geometry editor we can select either polygons, edges, or vertices. Let's just stick with polygons for now. And we can just click and drag to paint on the selection. Or an easier way we can just right click in our scene, come to selection mode, and let's select marquee selection. Now we can just click and drag and all the polygons that are completely covered in this box are going to be selected. If we come to our perspective view, we can see even the polygons on the back are selected as well. So with these selected, we're going to right click again in our scene, come down to geometry visibility and hide selected polygons. And that's the look that we want to get right there. But if we switch to our universal tool, you can see that this torus still has all that hidden geometry still part of the object. So let's come back to our geometry editor. We're going to right click and come down to geometry editing and we're going to delete hidden polygons. Say yes. Now if we try to select this object there are no hidden polygons anywhere. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in iRay. Control zero and you can see it's just all white. So what we're going to do is come into our surfaces pane, select our torus in our editor, come up to presets, shaders, and let's find a cool shader. Let's try this scaled gold here. That looks pretty cool. Let's select the sphere, come into editor, select sphere, presets, shaders, Let's find that scaled gold right here. And then on our second torus, let's come into editor, select the second torus. Presets, uh, let's go with the silver. So you can see the sphere looks pretty cool right here, but the toruses look very stretched out. So what we're going to do, let's select our first torus, come into our editor, and let's come down to the horizontal tiles. Let's push this up to 20. And you can see that now matches what we have on the sphere there. Let's do the same thing on the second torus. 20. So that's looking pretty cool. And then the last thing we're going to do is select all three of these items and we're going to make it into its own group by clicking here to create a new group. Then let's just call this eyebrow ring. In our next one we're going to be applying this to our character and making it follow.